All right, so now what I'm going to do is basically take this and comment it out. Um, this will open the door. Okay, that way I kind of get what's going on in my code. This will close the door. Okay, and what will close it? Well, we've worked on if statement, so we still need an if statement. And I'm going to steal it from up here. And I'm going to put that as an R on the keyboard. And the next line is something we haven't done yet. While. Okay, whiles are very pop, very, very easy to do. So something's already occurred in the scene. It's opened. That means that the angle is greater than close. And what is greater than close? Zero. Okay, so if something is greater than zero, this can happen while it is greater than zero. That means um, we can now steal this code. So while is greater than close, Something else is going to happen. That's the only weird thing about the while statement. You know, I got like this is my if statement. Now I also have another one out here that looks like that. So if it's that, while it's this, and you're like, wow, so much logic, it hurts. So now what happens? Well, I'm going to steal some more code. This helps in the overall process of things. While it's greater than zero, I'm able to transform rotate it close using the negative 1000. So it'll swing in the opposite direction. All right, and here's where all the fun begins because you just have to close out everything. So you're closing out um, the if statement. You're closing out the while statement. You're closing off another statement. I think that's one too many statements. But let's try that out. Yeah, that is one too many statements. Let's let the code decide how many statements I need to close. Save. Oh, good. Okay, so E on the keyboard, R on the keyboard. <laughs> e, R, E, R, O. <laughs> there we go. So it works. You've now made an open and a closed script. What's the problem? Well, here's the problem. What if I go inside the room? Well, I'll be able to open it, but I can't close it now, right? Now, this is solved very easily. You can make it as complex as you want, but remember, this is part of the player layer. So actually, if I just set this inside here, it's just as good. If I walk up to the door and it's got a large enough, um, yep, see, I, it can still detect me through the door. I can still hit E. When I go into the door, I can still hit R, and the door closes. There's a very simple way to do that. Raycasting is also powerful for it. All right, now you have your opening, closing door script. So at the end, what I want you to do in the next video is beautify this a little bit so it doesn't look so plain and ugly. Uh, it's a good example, but uh, it needs a couple things. Not textures, mind you, 
but the world needs a little bit of tweaking out so people know what's going on. And that's in the next video.